Hello football fans and Colts fans everywhere around the NFL. Welcome to the Indianapolis Colts franchise here on Madden 16 for the PS4. I'm your host JT Plays. Everything you need to know about sports here on YouTube. Today, the Colts take on the Atlanta Falcons from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Atlanta, and it was a hot contest. Let's get to the highlights. Let's pick things up here. Third quarter action, 17-6, Indianapolis Colts lead. This is Devontae Freeman picking up a big third down for the Falcons. They were not getting much of anything done if you saw the score in the first half. But here they get a first down. That would insinuate to a Falcon first and goal. Matt Ryan, he gets hit hard courtesy of Darius Butler. You see the rim rattling, cage shattering hit that Matty Ice took. He would need some ice after that. So coming back from a quick little break in the action, we have the second goal play. Matt Ryan, though, would get his revenge. This is a touchdown pass to the tight end, and the Falcons within five. They don't go for the extra point. They go for two. Can they get it halfway through the third quarter here on Colts Football Radio Network? It is a completion to the backup tight end this time, and it's only a three-point game. Colts lead 17-14, 650 to go here in the third Look, three-step drop, more, more, more. He'll take off running. He has a blocker in T.Y. Hill, and he'll slide one yard short behind the first down, mark it eight, second and two. Now, after a Colts and Falcons three and out, the Colts get in. This is Kobe Fleener making a huge impression. He is now up to 50 yards receiving on the day as the Colts are driving at the end of the third quarter against the Atlanta Falcons. Now plus territory. What can they do here? Andrew Luck. He will take three-step drop. He'll find Kobe Fleener again. Going for 15. That bumps Kobe Fleener's total up. 75 yards already with one touchdown. Can he get another one? Kobe Fleener, 84 yards on the day so far. One touchdown. End of the third quarter coming up after this play. It's going to be a PA pass to Dante Moncrief. But Luck wants to roll out. He sees that Moncrief is an open. And that will end the third quarter. Now the start of the fourth quarter. This pass to Kobe Fleener. He did not have one touchdown. That was my bad. He now has one. But they're going to booth review just to make sure he had both feet in bounds. Highly surprised if they overturn this. You see there he didn't cradle it. Maybe until his toe taps in. But... The referee will come under the hood, will come out from under the hood, and he will rule this a touchdown for Kobe Fleener. So there you go, buddy. One touchdown. Unfortunately, that's all he got from today's game. But we still have a lot of football left. Make it 24-14 Colts. Now the fourth quarter, 11.30 to go. Matt Ryan, that is Julio Jones, or excuse me, Roddy White. And that's an injured Colt on the play. That's Vontae Davis. He will be taken out for a while. Bruised elbow is the injury. And we are going to substitute Darius Butler in now a full-time starter. First and 10 for the Falcons on plus territory. This is Julio Julio Jones. Touchdown Falcons. Touchdown Falcons. And now they are within three. You see there, we're going to actually substitute Greg Toller, not Darius Butler, in for the injured Vontae Davis. Colts only up three, a lot of time to go here in this one. However, the Colts would not go down quietly. Back them up. They come right back at you. This is Dante Moncrief burning the Falcon secondary. Collins falls down on the play trying to make the tackle. There's nothing Desmond Trufant can do. They both look as number 10 goes for 6. Vinatieri makes it 7. And it's a 31-21 Colts lead 10-30 to go. After a Falcon 3, now Colts have it plus territory. But Desmond Trufant wants his revenge and he likes it clean. Untouched. Pick 6 to the house. We are back within a one possession game with the PAT pending. 
Andrew Luck. That's just his third interception of the year. His first pick six, and he cannot believe it. He let Desmond Trufant squeeze between him and a touchdown. Colts up three once again, 8.50 to go. Let's go six minutes to go. Now time crunching down. Andrew Luck will kick it out to Frank Gore, who gets hammered there. But he is okay. He will get up, and that's a four-yard gain. Four catches, 18 yards, no touchdowns. Nothing of the crazy sort for, De uh, not DeMarco Murray, Frank Gore. Sorry, Colts fans. You probably didn't want to hear that name. Next play, handoff to Frank Gore. He gets first down here. Five minutes to go, roughly. Atlanta, they come in number one on the points loud, but that's going to hurt him, giving up 31, at least so far as the Colts are in the red zone or the green zone, as looked as many teams. Dan Heron, why not make it a two-score game? Damn, boom, Heron. That's a touchdown, Indianapolis. Once again, seesaw roller coaster. Colts are up 10. Can they hold it this time? Four minutes to go. One tick under four minutes to go. Atlanta down 10, 350 to go. Matt Ryan, he's going to step up. He's going to find his man who just made a insane catch over to Quell Jackson, who looked like he ducked under the ball to avoid it, hitting off the helmet, and that leads to this. Julio Julio, touchdown Julio Jones. Tenth receiving touchdown of the year for Jones. And it's once again back to a three-point game. This time, a minute 55 to go. Colts fans turn away in disgust. We set up in the I formation. Andrew Luck hands off to Frank Gore. No, he hands off to Tyler Varga. And that's what happens when Varga gets the ball. He fumbles Desmond Trufant. Who else picks it up? That insinuates to a one minute left touchdown Falcons. Falcons have scored 14 unanswered, and now they are on the lead against the Colts here in Hotlanta. Things got hot early, things got hot late, but with the Colts, three timeouts, one more possession, anything can happen. PAT up from Matt Bryant's up and good. It's a four-point game here in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Georgia Dome, but Andrew Luck has one minute and five seconds and three timeouts, and T.Y. Hilton... Andre Johnson and Dante Moncrief to work with. I think we have a pretty good shot. Griff Whalen on the return. He will take it to about the 30, 31 yard line. Mark him down at the 30. And with exactly 60 seconds to go, we are going to go deep. We have to. We have no other option. Three timeouts, 70 yards. You really aren't going to expect it. So here we go. First play of the drive. Game-winning drive, it has to be no field goal here, and that's Dante Moncrief laying out fifth catch of the day. How about that milestone goal completion? What an incredible A-plus effort. He gets down to midfield, only for 20, it looked a lot deeper. Now, play action again, we're going to go uh, P.A. Reed. Andrew Luck looking, looking, he will find his man Frank Gore, gets out of bounds, saves the timeout. Down to the Atlanta 29, 32 seconds left. This is huge. We have all three timeouts still with Frank Gore running out of bounds or getting pushed out of bounds against his will. Colts have a shot. Andrew Luck. This is Griff Whalen down to the 13. Chuck Pagano signals first timeout. What's going to happen? They want extract. They want Kobe Fleener on this play. He's going to line up, though, on a block. And we're going to look for our man, Dante Moncrief, who has saved the game late. And he saves the game here. Touchdown, Indy. 21 seconds left. Up three. Atlanta. One timeout. And 21 seconds. That's all they have to live up to. Andrew Luck has just led the Colts to a game-winning drive, potentially, if everything holds up. Anything messes up, it's going to be a kick return, but this is way too deep to return. Then Terry's leg is money, and he shows why. So Atlanta has 80 yards, one timeout, 21 seconds. You're going to look for Julio Jones. You're going to look for Roddy White. No one else. 
No one even matters. Devontae Freeman will go shotgun. But Matt Ryan will find Roddy White just as we predicted. 16 seconds left. And they are driving. They are at the their own 35. One timeout still. Be cautious. But here's where the play and the game ends. Watch the clock. Watch time and timeout management. Matt Ryan gets drilled. He gives it to Freeman. Freeman gets absolutely rocked. They can call a timeout right now. Matt Ryan has that arm. But they are going to spike it with zero seconds on the clock. And that's how your ball game ends. The Indianapolis Colts improved to 7-3 off a wild, wild west finish here in Hotlanta. The Falcons drop 7-4. Colts continue the win streak. Of two, they look to improve it and go three in a row after they lost to Denver. I've been your host, JT Plays. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you have enjoyed. If you're new, check out other videos before subscribing. I will see you later. Have a good one.